Dad, what do you want? I'm playing Red Dead Redemption 2 right now. I need you to go clean your room, wash the dishes, clean the whole kitchen, clean the living room, clean my bedroom, clean the basement, clean the attic, clean the garage, clean the backyard, clean the window, and last but not least, clean my car. You ought to do some house chores, instead of just sitting all day playing stupid retarded gay cowboy game. Don't you kids these days can enjoy life without phones or video games? Listen dad, Red Dead Redemption 2 is not a gay retarded cowboy game, it has an emotional story about a gang of outlaws. You just don't know shit. And no, I don't wanna do stupid house chores. Go clean them yourself you old bald soybean looking tofu cancer ginger penguin who just had anal sex with a cup. You suck lazy balls. Get out of my face. Oh you little shit. How dare you insulted me with those nasty words and told me to do the house chores myself. I am your dad, when I tell you to do something, you do it. You don't have the rights to curse at me and tell me do stuff. You're such a spoiled little brat. If you don't move now, I'm gonna throw this armchair onto that TV, you got that? Now go do the house chores, start by cleaning your filthy room. Oh no you better not fucking touch my TV. Get your filthy old disgusting hands off my property. You smell like a rotten beer from the Great Depression era. How about just fuck off my face and go bang your George Washington portrait in your room you weird half-bald alien? You know what Peter, I'm giving you one last chance. You get out of there and clean up the house now, or you will lose your TV, your PS4 and your stupid phone. No, you can just bark all day like a little doggy, but please don't disturb me when I'm playing a video game that has a good story. Get lost, please. I won't say one more time. God damn it Peter you better stop roasting me and clean up the damn house now. I ain't gonna say once more. I'm really gonna smash that TV and run that PS4 over with my car. Don't force me. You better move on and clean the house now. I told you. I will not do your stupid request. I don't give a crap if the house and your car are dirty. Go clean them yourself. They're your properties anyway. And don't you dare touching my PS4 and my TV. I swear I'm gonna slam your half-bald Mediterranean Sea looking ugly head onto the wall 780,876 times. You motherfucking four-eyed prick. You made me cuss at you now. Go clean up the house now or I'll hit you with my hunting rifle. I swear, I will. I'm gonna hit your stupid rude head so hard that it bleeds out brain liquid. Yeah I don't care. You think you're gonna fucking hurt me with that shit? Fuck you. You're just fucking whining because you just wanna masturbate in your room so this is why you fucking want me to clean the fucking house. Fuck you, asshole. I am not gonna do the house chores. I'm just gonna ignore you and play my fucking PS4. Go back to your room and continue screaming and moaning with your tiny wiener you old shit. I'm gonna kill you. How dare you fucking push me. I'll slam your bald head onto the wall. You piece of shit. I have to look for a weapon to defend myself from that half-bald psycho. Oh there you go. I'll just use his toothbrush. Time to die you little four-eyed shit. Ouch. My arm and my knee. You don't need to use excessive force against me. I'm your dad. You just stabbed my toothbrush into my knee. I can barely move my left leg. I think I'm going paralyzed. I have to go to the hospital. I'm Dr. Dave Chan. What is the matter? My crazy son stabbed my left knee with my toothbrush. Now I can barely walk with that leg. I'm like a cripple. It's so painful right now. I see. Well let me pull that toothbrush out. Just stay calm. This will be very painful. <laughs> Whoa. Much better now. I cannot believe my toothbrush is that sharp. It's like a knife. I'm gonna have to keep this toothbrush. So are you gonna perform a surgery on my knee? Or what? No need surgery. The stab wound is not that severe. Just gonna put some medicine and bandage on your knee. And also do you need to speak to a police officer about you getting stabbed in the knee? A police officer? I think no need. Oh wait. If I bring the cops involved in this, my son can get arrested and go to jail. That's the way to punish my stupid four-eyed dickhole idiotic useless son. So yeah, please bring police officer here. I'm Detective Nancy Myers of the Fairland Police Department. What's the problem? My son stabbed me with my toothbrush on my left knee. It left a stab wound here. I need you to deal with him. That's a hell of a wound for a toothbrush stab. You feeling okay now? I'm okay now. Okay, good to hear that. 
So how do you want us to deal with your son, do we? I'll tell him to come to the hospital. He's coming now. Hi, I'm here to see my dad, Henry Johnson. Detective Nancy, you can come out here now. The kid is here. What? I'm looking for my dad. What, Detective Nancy? Don't ask me, I'm doing my job. You're Peter Johnson, right? Uh, yes ma'am. What is going on? I'm Detective Nancy of the Fairland Police Department. Your father has called us to report that you stabbed his left knee with a very sharp toothbrush. It left a stab wound on his knee. Also, he decides to press charges against you. Therefore you're coming with me. Uh-oh. Am I under arrest? Yes. Just come with me now and stop wasting time. How's jail life, Peter boy? Pretty bad. People here are so disgusting. Just like you. Ha 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 ha. By the way, you're grounded for 25 weeks. Have fun rotting in jail with five big stinky men here. Also, I ran over your PS4 and TV with my car. I guess no more video games forever. Wah 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 wah. 